Uh, my name is Damon Powell. I'm a visual artist primarily. I also consider myself a theologian. I came here to the Graduate Theological Union to complete my PhD in art and theology. So I consider myself an artist and a theologian. My primary medium is Scratchboard. Scratchboard art form, it's been around for a while. I'm ready to blacken that. Basically it's a clay board that I black over with the ink and then I take various scratching tools and scratch the image back out. For me it starts usually with visualizing, then I may do a few sketches, uh, basically small thumbnail sketches to kind of get a feel for the composition. Then once I get something I feel is good, then I'll mock it up in a larger state or right onto the board. Most of my work is about the spirits of the new moon and very symbolic, use a lot of the human figure symbols. So you don't see a lot of that with a lot of other scratchboard artists. Usually before I sit down to do anything, I spend about 10, 15 minutes meditating. I also do a lot of reading of sacred texts from various spiritual traditions. I really want to create a sense of reverence, a touch with the divine, a, exude a higher vibration in my work, if I could use that term. Usually I use X-Acto knives, sometimes tattoo needles, surgical blades. Slice tools are gonna to be something different. I've kind of experimented around with them a little bit. Uh, they're feeling good. I definitely love the fact that they're so ergonomic. It really makes it easy when you're spending a lot of time with your hand down close that way. It's easy for your hand to get tired, sometimes get numb, issues with the shoulder. Because the, the tool is so easy to hold, it makes me feel like I can work a lot longer and I can stay fresher with the work without having to take so many breaks. So that's definitely been good. So basically the tools that I've been using the most have been uh, these five. Primarily in the early stages has been this flat scraper tool which has been good for getting nice straight lines and getting them nice, nice close to the line and getting that area very clean. Now that we're moving into the more detailed portions, uh, I'm definitely going to be using these three. This is the fine point. I used it a little bit when I was reading the hand but I'm not quite finished with the hand. This pointed tip is going to be very helpful because I'm going to be doing some more detailed line work and I want a nice thin line. And this double bladed one, which I really like a lot the way this feels, has been good too. The tools feel good. That's one thing I can definitely say. Usually with an X-Acto or some other thing, it's just a little flimsy handle. It's not really ergonomic. These feel good in my hand. The craftsmanship feels good. They feel tight. It's better than just having a straight piece of metal. Um, and then the ergonomics are great. I'm finding I'm a lot less fatigued in my hand.